Walka, nestled in the hills of southern New England in New South Wales, Australia. The town is at the junction of the Oxley Highway and Thunderbolts Way on the banks of the Apsley River. It is located about an hour south of Armadale and two hours west of Port Macquarie. Join us as we explore the unique experience this charming town has to offer. As you arrive in Walker, the first thing that will catch your eye is the stunning natural landscape. Surrounded by green hills and vast farmlands, this town is nestled within a piece of paradise. In fact, when the first Europeans passed through here in 1818, explorer John Oxley on his expedition wrote that the area was the finest open country or park imaginable. So let's go and see what all the fuss is about. If you come to Walker, begin your adventure by visiting the magnificent Apsley Falls, which, when in flood, you will see the sheer power and beauty of nature unfold before your eyes. Even when not in flood, the cascading waterfalls offer a breathtaking sight, as the water drops a total of 123 metres over sheer slate cliffs over two stunning falls. The Apsley River forms one of the main tributaries of the Maclay River and these steep cliffs proved an insurmountable obstacle for Oxley as he was making his way to the coast. Walker is also known for its rich history and heritage. Take a stroll through the town streets and you'll be transported back in time. The beautifully preserved historic buildings and churches showcase architectural elegance from the past. But don't miss the Walker Pioneer Museum, a place where Walker's history is beautifully preserved. The Walker Pioneer Museum includes a charming pioneer cottage that reflects the architectural style of the past. Its rustic charm beckons visitors to step inside and discover the treasures within. As you enter the museum, you'll be greeted by a friendly staff member eager to share the rich history of Walker with you. There's plenty of opportunities to admire the display of antique artefacts and photographs that set the stage for your journey back in time. The museum is divided into various exhibition buildings, each dedicated to a different aspect of Walker's history. From plows to shearing machines, these artefacts offer a glimpse into the hardship and determination of those who shaped Walker's character. These artefacts tell the stories of resilience, resourcefulness and the simple joys of life in a bygone era. After exploring the museum's exhibits, take a moment to visit the Walker Pioneer Cemetery. The Pioneer Cemetery is a solemn reminder of the challenges faced and the sacrifices made by those who came before, and includes the grave of 19th century explorer and pastoralist Nat Buchanan, who in the 1800s accompanied William Lansborough on an expeditionary journey through Queensland's interior.
Art enthusiasts will be delighted to discover the vibrant art scene in Walker. The town is home to numerous art galleries and studios. And don't forget the outdoor sculptures, which unfortunately we didn't get to see due to the heat and I forgot to bring my hat. But be sure you don't miss the sculptures when you're in town. We did visit the newly established Woodwork Gallery in the main street. So we've just popped into Wood We Create, which is a new business set up here in Walker. I'm here with Fiona. So Fiona, just tell us a little bit. You moved from Coffs Harbour to Walker in the winter. Yes. Um, tell, <laughs> us about, <laughs> <laughs> tell us about uh, this, this gallery and, and yep, what sure. you do. So um, most of the work done is by my husband, um, David. So he is a wood turner. He's an engineering pattern maker by trade. So it's a combination of creativity and um, excellence in engineering fit together so yeah. lots of the pieces that he do, does are quite fine and intricate yeah. he turns as well as carves um, and decorates um, small giftware um, doesn't really like making furniture he likes to get in and do individual things as he goes yeah so, yeah okay wonderful so what do you prefer carving or wood turning um for me myself I think that wood turning that's decorated is probably shows his ultimate skill yep. and it's certainly the pieces that get picked up by most people right. but there's I guess what he tends to do is find a piece of wood and let it um, showcase what it is that needs to be made from that so he doesn't sit down and go I've got to make 10 bowls today so I'm picking up 10 pieces of wood and doing that yep. he actually lets the piece of timber be shown the best through what it is that he makes so some of those bits of wood like burls which are quite rough edged yep. are better to cut because it showcases um, what the wood is. Fantastic. Yep. Lovely, Ooh, beautiful stuff. Absolutely amazing. And such a range of different things. Yep, yep. So there's things you can use, things that you can look at, and um, certainly things that will last a generation. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Great. Thanks. That's Thanks okay. For Thanks That's for popping awesome. in. It's yeah, great yeah. to see you. <laughs> And we also popped in to see Alan in his workshop called It's Not a Bloody Train Set. So here we are, uh, still in Walker. I'm here with Alan and he has a setup here called It's Not a Bloody Train Set. <laughs> so interesting name. We've seen little snippets of this uh, on the internet. Um, we're so looking forward to seeing the project. So Alan, tell us a little bit about the project. When did you move here? How did it, how long did it take? Okay, well, we moved down here and into this shed and lived here for a year while the house was being built. Then in 2014, uh, I got on with starting the project in there, uh, actually building it. But I had done some little bits of drawing and preparatory, preparation work in Queensland before we moved down here. Right. Uh, then since then, it took until Christmas last year to complete the project. Uh, I would call it probably six or seven years full time on it at the time. Wow. 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 wow, the project. Yes, it was a big project, it <laughs> took a long time. Well, the storyboard really explains, it's not particularly uh, a linear thing, but we, I'm done starting off with the idea sketches. Some of them were way back in 2010. Uh, I was going to build it down in Queensland, but we decided to move down here. Uh, and then development sketches and actually the sketches from just last year, well, two years ago, very recent stuff as well. Um, and then I got show people how I put it all on AutoCAD and develop the ideas into AutoCAD so they could do full-size drawings and do proper orthographic drawings to build the parts. And this is part of your your profession. You're a designer. And manual arts teacher and art teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. wow. So that's more that same sort of information with uh, some of the stuff that you'll see in there um, and the graphics. And this was this one in particular was used for laser cutting, uh, which I sent away for. Um, wow. And then went on ideas, construction methods I used here. Uh, and then I've done a board here with all the artistic influences, which I reflected in there and used in there. So I've got a model of a Henry Moore and a model of a Ken Armitage and a model of a Barbara Hepworth in there in amongst the railway. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. So it's designed as a sculpture in there. Uh, and the train is basically to put movement in the sculpture. Right. It was never designed as a realistic train, mm -hmm. model railway. 
yeah. it was designed as a sculpture and, a, a, and it was all designed to have a total overall effect when you walk in there. Wow. So it's not a train set, is it? No. It's a, it's a moving, a sculpture with movement. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, that, yeah, sculpture with movement. That's yeah. a nicer way than saying, um, what's the, that word they use in the art gallery is the, um, installation, I hate that <laughs> word, but it's, it's not a, yeah. it's not an installation. No. <laughs> but these are the details here of how many, you know, metres of track, how many hundreds and, well, a couple of, about a thousand figures in there and yeah and uh, yeah. the actual trains that are models of in there yeah okay interesting is ho scale so one in 87th many years ago when i was young and i had a train set yeah uh yeah i used had ho it wasn't the hornby then with mm. o -O, it was ho right. yeah yep. all right yeah cool okay so there's an original picture of where our living room before we built it as well, <laughs> where we lived in there. Yeah. It was truly an amazing sculpture with movement. Alan's imagination, attention to detail and replica scale brings together bridges, sculptures and technology from his life experiences. Alan controls everything from his iPad, including lights, sounds and track changes. Check out his video on the link in our description below. To view Alan's work, you must book ahead, so see his website for details. No visit to Walker is complete without experiencing the local flavours. The town hosts monthly farmers markets where you can indulge in fresh produce, homemade goodies and unique crafts. And when it's time to relax, be sure to visit one of the cosy cafes where you can savour a delicious cup of coffee and take in the serene atmosphere. We had lunch at the Walker Royal Cafe where the interior decor pays homage to motorcycle enthusiasts and tourists with a great display of memorabilia and furniture made with automobile parts. I had a delicious chicken wrap and... So for lunch I got a homemade uh, pie with gravy and chips. I thought I'd get some tomato sauce <laughs> and I covered myself in tomato sauce. <laughs> so is it a beef pie or a pork pie? Uh, beef pie, well, a little bit, yeah.
So whether you're seeking natural beauty, rich history, artistic inspiration, or just a peaceful escape, Walker has it all. Plan your visit and immerse yourself in the wonders of this enchanting town. Walker, where nature meets heritage and memories are made. We don't know where we're going next, but we will be spending those minutes with new mates. <laughs>